In this video, I'm gonna show you one of my favorite and most powerful hard surface modeling tools that pretty much nobody is using in Blender and how much time this is gonna save you just by watching this video. Now, before I start, this is gonna show you, you know, a tool inside of hard ops. If you don't yet own hard ops or box cutter, get them and if you do and you want to learn our entire process for using these tools to make your workflow eight times faster check out our ultimate guide to hard ops and box cutter 2.0 program in the link in the top of the description this is completely updated and brand new for 2025. all right so the first thing i want to show you here is basically how all the settings work all right so of course i'm going to start with the default cube because this is the easiest way to kind of show you how this works. And just to kind of spice this up a bit, let me just run a simple Boolean cut in here. So if I press Q and then I go to Mesh Tools and then Face Extract, the, the amount of people that don't know this setting exists is astonishing. I don't see anybody using this. I'm gonna click on Face Extract and then if you press the H key, that's gonna activate the Help menu. Now this looks intimidating, this looks confusing. I'm gonna run through all these settings with you very, very quickly. So the first thing is when you're in face extract, notice this is a non-destructive piece, meaning I don't have access to those faces unless I apply that Boolean modifier. This is good because we can still work non-destructively, right? Let me undo that. We can still work non-destructively, you know, move things around, but I can still use these faces uh, to my advantage. So if I go here, mesh tools, and again to face extract, I can actually go in here and I can select these different faces here and you might be wondering, you know, what this does. So let me run through this. So if I just click by default, this is going to select, maybe I'll do this one instead. This is going to select this face right here. Now, if you press the spacebar key, I'm just going to go ahead and press that. What this is going to do is it's going to kind of take this face and it's gonna perform a Boolean and do different things. Now there's different settings here. You don't have to just use a Boolean, but the nice thing about this is I can quickly access faces that I normally wouldn't have access to if I'm working non-destructively. So let's go through all the settings here now that you kind of see how that works. So I'm gonna select this face right here. And the first thing I wanna go through here is the dot UI. Now if I press the tab key, this is gonna to go to different selection menus, okay? Now I have Extract, I have Boolean, and I also have Solidify. Now let me go through each of these. If I set this to Extract, I'm going to click on that, and I press the Spacebar key, all this is going to do is extract the face. I'm going to press the Spacebar key. So essentially what this did right here was it extracted the face, and all Extract means in this context is it took the face and it just duplicated it and added it in as a separate object. And you can imagine if I wanted to do this in like vanilla Blender, I'd have to go in, I'd have to duplicate this cube, I'd have to apply the Boolean, and then I'd have to like, you know, isolate the view. I'd have to go in, press P to separate by selection, then delete out the extra one, go back into global view. It's multiple keystrokes and it gets very confusing and you might end up, you know, deleting the wrong object. So that's essentially what the extract feature does here in face extract. So I'm gonna press the tab key and the next one I'm gonna to go to here, let me select this face. Instead of extract, I'm gonna go here to Boolean, all right? Now, when I set this to Boolean, you can imagine what this is gonna do. If I press the space bar key, what this is gonna do, it's going to allow me to kind of make this larger or smaller. And then when I click, this is just gonna turn that face into a Boolean. So instead of extracting that face as a separate object, it's gonna give me a Boolean operation. This can allow me to quickly make, you know, Booleans on the object without, you know, applying anything. The next one I wanna show you, and the final one, I'm gonna press the, again, the tab key, and I'm gonna to go to solidify, and you can imagine what solidify does, right? If I press the space bar key, it's just gonna take that face, and instead of extracting it, it's going to solidify it, right? So I can go ahead, I can go in here, and I can just go in and just kind of extract this to wherever I want. And there we go, and I can right click to shade auto smooth. So that's kind of the bare basics of how face extract works, and you're gonna run into situations where you're gonna just naturally need to use that to save some time. Now there are other settings in here, I wanna show you how these work. So 
Again, if I just select a face, I can select multiple faces. And again, I can you know do this to multiple faces. It doesn't have to just be one. However, if I control click, this is gonna work just like it would in edit mode. It's going to select, you know, kind of all the way around. I control click and it just kinda, you know, selects all the way around. Now I can also press Alt A, just like you would in Vanilla Blender. That's gonna clear the selection. And then again, if I control click, it's just gonna follow that shortest path around and just save me some time. So obviously this is a very simple object. I could just select this manually. But if you wanted to control click around, you know, you could do that as well. All right, let's go to the next settings here. So now we've kind of covered the tab menu, we've covered how to select objects, we've covered the control click, and also how to accept the operation by pressing the space key, right? That's the, you know, you could get away with Curve Extract at this point and you're good to go. That's all you need to know. However, you can make this workflow even quicker. So for example, let's say I have this face selected and I'm in extract mode. What I could actually do is I could, you know, press the S key and that's just going to change it to the solidify menu. So I can press the space bar key. It's going to do that. I personally don't like, you know, using that. I'd much rather just go in, press the tab key and then choose the mode I want to use. So I'm not mistakenly choosing the wrong one. So this S and A key allows you to quickly hop into Boolean mode or out of Boolean mode. I would not recommend, you know, using that. Instead, I would ignore these two right here and just stick with the tab key so that way you don't make a mistake anywhere. Now let's say I had a bevel on this object right here. I had a bevel. I'll just scroll up and let me just go in and for some reason that needs to be on the bottom there. So let's say I had a bevel operation on my cube or whatever your object is and I go here into face extract. Well naturally I might not want to extract this face here, I might want to extract the face before the bevel. So what I can actually do is I can press the W key right here, that's going to remove the bevel and then if I just click on this and then you know let's say I just press spacebar Basically what that's going to do is take the face for you. I might even change to extrude instead. So let me go in, go to face extract, I'll press the W key and let me just change the mode here to solidify, right? And then I can just press the space bar key and solidify that. So the, the bevel is going to remain in the main object, it's just that this one's not going to have the bevel, you know, carry it over to it. So that can be useful. If you don't want to select, you know, this face, maybe you want to select the entire face here before the bevel. Now, another one I want to show you here is let's say I had, let me subdivide this a few times, right? We have something like this. I'm going to go here into face extract. Well, let's say I wanted to select, you know, this region here. Well, I don't want to have to go in and, you know, select all these. It's going to take some time, right? So instead of what I can do, let me just clear that selection. I can press the D key to add a decimate and it's just going to decimate those flat faces for me. So now I can just select that area there, right? I can go ahead and maybe change this to solidify, press the space bar and it's still going to, it's not going to actually decimate that. It's just going to do it for purposes of this one. So we're still going to have these faces here, right? This area won't be decimated. It's just that in the preview, when we need to select that face, it'll be decimated for us. So that's a super useful way to do that as well. So that way, you know, you don't have to go in and select all this manually. Just press the D key to add a decimate and you're good to go. Now, another tool we can use here if I go to face extract is I can actually go in and I can hold alt to quickly cycle through the modes. So this is another tool I use as well. If you don't want to press the tab key and select this manually, say I wanted to quickly go from extract, which I'm set to, and I wanted to go to solidify. Sure, I could press tab and then just change that to solidify. No problem with that, but I could also go in, right? Notice it says the mode right here, and I could actually hold Alt and then scroll through. It's gonna to go to Boolean mode, it's gonna to go to Solidify mode, and then back to Extract mode. So if you don't wanna to have to press the Tab key each time, you can just hold Alt and quickly scroll through that and see which operation you're on. And if you use this frequently, eventually you'll know which color corresponds to which mode. So blue corresponds to Extract, Red corresponds to Boolean. Many of you know this because of box cutter. And then the solidify turns like a pink color here. And again, you know, you can select that with tab as well, or you can just hold alt and scroll through that manually. Now the final mode I want to show you, it's not super important, but this might help you. Say you have, 
you know, a million objects in your scene and it's just a pain to look at, right? So say I'm going into face extract mode, what I can actually do is I can press the slash key and that's gonna turn local mode off and on. So I can press the slash key and that's basically just gonna isolate all the objects we're not currently working with just to kind of make the scene a bit easier. I don't really need this and you probably don't either. You can see what you're working with pretty easily. But if that's distracting, just press the forward slash key on your keyboard and that's just gonna quickly take you into a local mode. So that's the face extract feature, guys. A lot of you aren't using this. A lot of you don't even know this tool exists, but you can imagine you know, how much time this will save you. And I'll just quickly give you an example here. Let me just delete these real quick. Say, you know, I wanted to extract this face right here into a separate object. You know, in vanilla Blender, what I would have to do is I'd either have to apply the Boolean, but let's say I didn't want to do that. In that case, I'd have to duplicate the object then I'd have to apply the Boolean on that object, and then I'd have to go in here, I'd have to invert the selection, right? And then I could extrude this out, but I still would have to go in here and then make sure that's separated, which it is. And you're still gonna see, it's still gonna have this extra geometry, you know, these edges here, because of what we had on this cube in this area. So it's just a pain to do this in Vanilla Blender because you have to clean everything up manually, you have to select everything manually, it's just going to be a big waste of time. I'd much rather go in here, go to face extract, select the face, choose the mode I want to go to, press spacebar, and then that's going to extract it. Or if I wanted to, I could just select this and go to solidify instead, press spacebar. And now I have a separate object that way without having to, you know, do this manually in Vanilla Blender. So that's the face extract feature, guys. It's very easy to use, and I would recommend using this in your projects when you need it. Now, if you wanna see our entire guide to hard ops and box cutter, how every tool works, and how to actually use them practically for your own modeling projects, I would really recommend going to the link in the description, grab our ultimate guide to Hard Ops and Box Cutter 2.0 program. This is brand new, up to date for 2025. It's gonna show you how to use both Hard Ops and Box Cutter in its entirety. And this is gonna actually make your workflow eight times faster. So you can imagine a 100 hour modeling project is gonna turn into 12 hours. You're gonna save a hell of a lot of time. So if you're using Blender for you know an hour or more per week, this is a no brainer. You need to get these tools, you need to start using them. And if you wanna quickly learn how to use them, again, you can grab our ultimate guide to Hard Ops and Box Cutter 2.0 program. Everything is up to date. This is the most up to date resource for these tools on the internet. You can go to the link in the top of the description to check that out. Anyways, thanks for watching. Hope this video was useful and I'll see you in the next one.